hello guys welcome to today's youtube tutorial on the codan youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing us how we can successfully and easily host and deploy an angular application using a platform called verso before we go further i want to quickly remind you not to forget to subscribe to this youtube channel so that the youtube algorithm can keep recommending my videos as well as support the channel i'll appreciate if you do that as we all know Angular is a TypeScript-based front-end framework led by the team at Google, as well as a community of individuals and corporations. Angular is one of the most popular front-end frameworks out there, and it is well received by the JavaScript community. On the other hand, Vessel is a platform where front-end teams can easily deploy, preview, and ship applications, which provides good user experiences, as well as a very good performance and easy deployment for developers. So, to create a Vessel account, you can head over to vessel.com forward slash sign up. Then you see an array of options of the different ways you can create in your account. You can do that either by using your GitHub account, your GitLab account, or your Bitbucket account, as well as your email. So, depending on the choice you want, you should go through with that. I already created it using my GitHub account, so I do not need to repeat this process. The prerequisite for today's tutorial is to have both Angular and Vessel installed. I believe you also have a basic knowledge of Angular. Now, to install Angular, all you have to do is to run the command npm install g at angular slash cli. This will install the Angular CLI in your machine. I already have this installed, so I won't go through the process again. So, having have had Angular installed, the next thing you need to do is to create an Angular application. And to do that, you need to run the ng command. So you type ng new. This will create a new Angular application as well as the name of the application. I already did that and I called the name of my application host. So I do not need to repeat this. So I already opened this after running that command in my Visual Studio code. So let me head straight to Visual Studio code and you can see I already have a boilerplate template generated for me. And um as we're about to set up the hosting for this application, I would like us to have some sort of routing. So I'm going to create two folders, one for the home page and one for an about page. It's not going to contain anything, just boilerplate templates. Now to do this, I'm going to create two components by running the ng g generate component and this will be home. So this will automatically generate a new component for us called home. Then once that is successfully done, we can now create an about component using the same command. So if I head back to Visual Studio Code and I open up my app directory, you can see we have two folders. One is called about and one is called home. Now what we need to do is to set up routing for these two components. To do that, I head to the app routing file and inside the app routing file you have a route variable which will take in an object because our route to when we create route in angular is usually in the form of an object so i'm going to open a curly brace bracket then i'm going to have the first thing here which is going to be path and this will be an empty path then i'll have the name of the component that takes in that particular part which is going to be called home component yes as you can see this has been successfully imported at the top of our file so the second page i want to create a route for is the about page so i'm going to have a path called about as well as a component called about components which would also be successfully imported into this app routing file now the next thing i want to do is to create a nav bar where we can navigate to these two components we just created and to do that i'm going to make use of bootstrap 5. so quickly i head back to the browser in chrome and then go straight to the bootstrap documentation and then grab this css cdn link head back to visual studio code and paste it inside the edge tag in our index.html file then the next thing we need to get from bootstrap is the navbar so i search for navbar and then i'm going to copy a random navbar template from the bootstrap documentation i think let's go with this one and this will be in our app 
app.components.html file. So we do this right above the file. So let me paste the navbar in here. What we need to have there is just two um two names. One is the home as well as the about page. So I can just call this about. Well, like while I get rid of the rest of the things in the li tags, and we will not be making use of href tag. Rather, we'll be making use of what we called router link in Angular. This prevents the page from reloading because this is a single page application. With this, our page would successfully be able to navigate from one component to another. So let me save this and run our application with the command ng serve. Now our application has successfully compiled. Let's head straight to the browser and go straight to local os 4200 that is where our angular application is running in and as you can see we have a navbar that contains the home and the about route so if i head over to the about page you see on the browser we have about works and on the home page we have home works next up is to set up vessel to do this we need to install vessel and to do that i'll stop the terminal and then i'll run the command npm install dash g vessel but for this particular project, I already have Vessel installed. So if you don't have a Vessel account, please go to the Vessel documentation and create a new account. I, so I don't need to run this command again. But once you run the command, the next step you need to do is to type in Vessel. So I type in Vessel. Once I do this, I'll be asked a series of questions. The first question I'll be asked is if I want to set up and deploy the application. So I have two options, yes or no. So yes, I'll select yes for that. Then the application is going to de deploy to my account which is called desoga 10 so i press enter for that then it will start searching for an existing project then the next question is going to ask us is it's found another project that it wants to link our application to i'm going to say no for this because it's going to be a new project it also asks us another question if you want to link it to a different existing project the answer is also no we don't want to do that then it asks us for the name of our project. I'm going to call it ng host. And it asks us the location we want our directory of our code to be located. This is going to, this is in the root of our application. So I'm just going to leave it this way and press enter. Then it starts setting up our project and uploading it to the vessel platform. Next up is asking us if we want to override the settings. We do not want to do that. So I go with no once again. Then finally, our app starts to get deployed and it's building up the application. So as that is done, it generates an inspect link. This link helps us to see if our application is successfully deployed or it fails to deploy. So I'm going to grab this link once this building is done and I'm going to head to the browser and check the status of the application. So our application has finished its deployment process. So I'll grab this inspect link. I'll copy it, head straight to the browser, and then paste it in a new tab. So when you look at this page, you can see down below here, we have something called a tab called build logs. So if you scroll down, you can see all the commands that is being run on Vessel. It's kind of compiles the application, just like when you run an ng build dash dash prod command. That's what it did here. And then it successfully compiled the application and the application has been successfully deployed. So it generates a new link for us. We can see that here. So when I click on this link, it opens a new tab and takes us straight to a live URL of the application we created. And as you can see, the navigation bars work successfully. We have a, an home component and the about component navigate successfully. So that's it for this video. So I would love it if you can like and subscribe to this YouTube channel so I can keep creating more awesome content as well as for the YouTube algorithm to keep recommending my videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.